Oh, hey, Swap actually opened up a bunch of different options. Uh, hi, guys. I'm the Comic Foil, and we are back with uh, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Sorry, they're referencing Donkey Kong. That's what I call it. This is the Henry Stickman collection, guys. This is not Donkey Kong. <laughs> what happens if I just keep swapping them? Okay, so um, as you can see, I went here to... Um, Back to this one route we did last time to collect some of the fails. Let's collect a bunch of fails. Um, so I can have Ellie throw Henry. Uh, so long, gay Henry. Okay. Um, and let's climb down and run. So this whole route is Henry and Ellie working together with Charles. You guys are still running? Now I can just pick you up. Yeah, to steal the top hats, treasures. Oh, you're staying committed to your choice. I can respect that. Mission failed. Only 20 more minutes until you're almost halfway there. All right. Um, let's go forward a little bit. Yes, uh, there was an option here we didn't try yet, the I gotcha. hand. Yeah, that's about what I expected. High five, bro. And, alright, we land back in Yo. here. So the diversion was what worked, uh, but we're gonna do a fusion. Oh, man. For a Henry Ellie. Oh, there. Who will challenge me? So many people to click on. I'll take care of this. You think just because you fused, you're a match for me? Don't make me laugh. Enough waiting around. <laughs> There's like a lot more work put into a lot more sections of this chapter. <laughs> okay, we get the uh, Yamcha crater. Uh, normally this goes on for another three hours. Okay. Then, yeah, looks like we got two more fails here. This is, um, right, we did Henry's plan. Oh, so I guess both Ellie and Charles's plans aren't going to work? All right, guys, listen up. I got a plan. Henry and I will overload the engine room, causing an explosion. Charles, we'll need you to wait outside the auxiliary exhaust by the forward left booster. We'll only have about 20 seconds to get out before it blows. All right, I'll be ready. <laughs> Now hurry, your left or my left? Where is he? Alright, I'm in position. I don't see you guys, though. <laughs> Forward left, your left or mine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know it's not going to go as planned if they explain the plan first. In any kind of heist movie or things like that, it's usually your hearing the plan as it's going on when things are going smoothly. If they tell you what's supposed to happen, it's not okay, going guys, to happen. I have the most awesome plan. I'm going to crash head first into the cafeteria window. What do you mean? Like, you're going to jump out and smash it with your head? No, oh, no, with my helicopter. What do you guys think? I'm ready to... Hold on. I don't really understand. What's not to understand? It's simple. I fly the helicopter into the window. But how does that help? <sighs> I don't really think you get it. Henry, you get it, right? I guess I'm outvoted then. Um, I think it's a little bit out of range now. It would have been amazing, Charles. Yeah, he likes to crash his uh his helicopter into things. All right, so that's uh all the fails on this um combination. Yeah, on this route, on this combination of previous endings. It doesn't seem like there's as much room for things to like branch out different ways. There should be, though, right? Wait. Mm. No, probably there's only 16 of these 20 combinations that, that actually work, and each of them has one ending for the total 16 endings that we know they have in... Yeah, because we got 5, 10, 16. Okay. So, we're sticking with the government-supported private investigator uh, mode, and this time we'll do this with presumed dead. So, evidence stolen, teamed up with Charles, top hat leaders arrested, airship impounded. Faked our death, did not meet Ellie. Um, technically, we saw Ellie in the prison, but we never really... 
worked with her either way. We didn't betray her, but we didn't work with her either. Right. Oh. Oh yeah, the Tunisian diamond. Allows the topic clan to easily raid any place on Earth. Henry! I heard you die! Ah, man. The Top Hat Clan has been causing a bunch of problems for me lately. Yeah, ever since they got that orbital station set up, they've been super strong. Wow, Top Hats are stronger than now I thought that they were. I think were. about it, you and I made a pretty good team in the past. I bet we could take them out. It's starting to get personal. Well, what do you uh -oh. say? Oh, uh, we froze again. Okay, um, sorry, let me, uh, restart my game here. Uh, yeah, Henry's really not supposed to be played in full screen, unfortunately. And we're back. At least it, like, immediately yeah, saves day, all bios you collect and stuff, so I didn't have to do strong. anything over. Now that I think about it, you and I made a pretty good team in the past. I bet we could take him out. It's starting to get personal. Well, what do you say? You want to help me take him out for good? Awesome. All right, follow me. I have a way we can get into space. It got so personal, Charles, that you crashed my game. That's how personal it was. Secret government prototype. What do you think? There it is. All right, how do you want me to bring you in? Oh, this is so exciting. It's just like last time. All right, so... I'm gonna drop off, gonna beam aboard, gonna air cannon, or gonna trash ball. Uh, let's drop off. All right, I'll just swing by, I guess, and drop you off. Hey, Chief. We're detecting a government ship approaching. Okay. So blow them up already. I was uh, distracted by the uh, little comics up there. Uh, one star. The dude straight up drove into lasers. Okay, let's beam aboard. Yeah, I'll just beam you right aboard. Should be a piece of cake. This feels like teleporting. There's Fen. Okay, so this has nothing to do with the rocket, even. This is all about the orbital station, which is interesting. We're, yeah, in a completely different setting. Uh, the trash ball. Put on this spacesuit and hide in this ball of trash. What? It's a good idea, trust me. Why would they bring that ball of trash aboard? See? I told you it was a good idea. The top bats have no clue you're there now. I'm gonna stick back here, though, so they don't detect me. Should still be able to help you get inside from here, though. Uh-huh. Okay, it did work, sure. Uh, let's use the super accurate laser shots. <sighs> this might make you a little nervous, but I'm gonna fire a super accurate laser shot right next to you. It'll make a hole you can climb through and get inside, you know? We're under attack. Maximize the shield. All right, shields up. Um, she's a hot knife, thousand degree okay, knife. You feel that button there on your helmet? Go ahead and press that. It's a knife that's so hot it can cut through any material. You dropped it, didn't you? Butterfinger. Oh. Butterfinger. Yep. All right, greasy delight. Yeah, I was ready for you this time. Butterfingers joke. I still don't know what that refers to. Somebody. I guess it's a meme. Somebody in the comments said it's a reference to something I forget. I don't know. Uh, you know what? No. This calls for some bold action. <laughs> Is Charles actually I'm the correct the answer here? Warning. Critical damage to core. Please evacuate. The yeah, Charles. Oh, Charles is in the field. I've always wanted to do that. Aw, uh, you did it. Anyways, we should probably find a way off the station before it explodes. Uh, looks like the door is jammed. This is the only way through. Alright, we can hack, lift, or vent. Let's hack. I think I can hack this panel to get the door to open. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> bruh, okay. Right, click bruh, okay. I never know what the achievements are gonna be. Lift. One, two, three. <laughs> are you lifting with your back? Okay. Vent. I bet this vent leads somewhere on the other side. <laughs> Among Us, vent. Okay. 
Charles, stop singing. Oh boy, we're running out of time. Damage to core. Please evacuate immediately. Okay, we got a, a luxury. We got an empty one. I thought for sure there'd be a crewmate in the vents. All right, we got to pick which one. Uh, I'm going to start with this one on the end, which I think we just saw somebody go in. <laughs> Why do they even have that lever? Okay, uh, this one looks kind of broken. Ah, well, that was intense. Ah, can't wait to go home. Huh? Oh, pink hat, pink hat. Okay, Charles. Don't worry about no. it. Find way. No. No. Henry, you there? Ah, man, that roughed me up. Got him though. Gotta be another escape pod around here somewhere. <laughs> we did it though, we got him. Uh, it was a pretty good plan. We could say it was the greatest. That's so hilariously sad. Ah, buddy. Okay, it's the Charles is dead <laughs> ending. The top bat station's been destroyed. Excellent news. What's wrong? Aw, oh, with the, uh, with the headphones. Valiant Hero. Yeah, son better not sheep to whoop his grave. Alright. Um, they know Charles is a fan favorite, man. Okay, so let's go through that and, uh, get... Pick up a couple failures from this, uh... One, let's try the uh, air cannon. It sounds weird, but this air bubble's gonna keep you breathing till you get to the side wings, all right? It's also really sturdy, so you don't have to worry about it popping on you. Unfortunately, it doesn't move very fast. Still working that one out. Yeah, don't worry, I'll keep you company till you get there. Shouldn't be a problem. What kind of movies do you like? You used up all the air already, you glutton. Yeah, I'm a glutton for air. Okay, then, um... Yeah, let's try using the, uh, luxury. Got room for two more? Oh, and there's a, uh, there's a crewmate in there. Okay, rude. Um, so let me pick up that crewmate real quick. There we go. Got room for two more? Nice. Okay, then I think that's all for this route, so let's look at the bios. Okay, so even though it's really big, the failures at least are pretty easy to manage um, because this whole chapter is in a bunch of like little bite-sized chunks. Um, come on, I know we picked up a few bios here. Here we go. So we got the newscaster, Alice Hamilton. Um, the evening reporter at BCC, she's a fairly new reporter but she's been doing a great job. And we got Bert Curtis. Oh, he also has uh, headphones, kind of like Charles. The head of communications in the Top Hat clan. He's the liaison between the leaders and the rest of the recon team. Uh, there's Wilhelm, Wilhelm Krieghaus. Uh, he's been a Top Hat member for over 40 years. His English has improved throughout the years, but he still has an accent. Then uh, Elmer Paisano, uh, he moved out to the middle of nowhere to start fresh. I don't think it's going so well. Marcus Blabbered, uh, talk like this he does. Talk like this he does. Not sure why I am. Okay. Um, Gremlin, she's extremely scrappy and feisty. She's rumor. It's rumored she grew up on her own in the woods. Mr. Villain. He speaks and behaves like a 1920s movie villain. I don't know if that started before or after he joined the Top Hats. Uh, hazmat. He really wants a hazmat suit. He's preemptively claimed this name, but who knows how long it'll take to get the suit. Uh, Arnold Swartz. An elite Top Hat member. His commanding voice is perfect for leading men into battle. Um, oh, I just got an email on my work phone. I will look at that later. Uh, don't interrupt me, I'm playing Henry Stickman. Uh, Gene Fredrickson. 
He used to be a mayor, but fled when plans to smuggle a large diamond out of a museum were uncovered. Yeah, I remember him being the one to unveil the Tunisian diamond. Um, Albert Poshley, one of the wealthiest Top Hat members, he tends to fund most of the expensive operations for high profit. Then we got Jacked Human, as in Hugh Jackman, um, an up-and-coming member in the Top Hat clan. He has yet to make a name for himself. And we got Paul Ascot. His entire career has just been delivering bad news. Yeah, I wonder if he was in the past episodes, too. Um, oh, we got a couple more here. Oh, right, there's our fusion, Elry. The fusion between Henry and, El and Ellie. Uh, they have a fierceness. They have the fierceness of Ellie and the luck of Henry. And then Cabot. He towers over his other Top Hat members. He always engages in the pre-fight banter. It's kind of like if you mixed Kakarot with Raditz. Raditz being uh, Goku's brother and Kakarot being his real name. Wonder if that's intentional. All right, um, then I guess let's hit another one of these ending combinations here for another round. We're going to stick with the government support of private investigator. We're going right down the line here. Evidence stolen, teamed up with Charles, top hat leaders arrested, airship impounded, and the international rescue operative, assisted by Charles, fled in helicopter. So we worked with Charles a lot in this combination. Me and Charles are best buddies now. Hey, General. Ah, perfect timing, boys. Been waiting for you two to get here. Let me just get right to yeah, it. Yeah, so we're just the bestest Discover friends the in this route. The remainders of the Top Hat clan have been seen building some kind of rocket. They've been gathering their remaining members and supplies here in the jungle. If they're able to get this station into orbit, they'll be impossible for us to take down. Now, I know you don't know us anything, Henry, but we could really use your help on this one. Help us out with this one, and you'd be we'd be owing you a big, a big ol' favor. Now, you and a big ol' favor, well like the big ol' sword? Past, so we figured you'd be the perfect men for this operation. Yeah, what do you say, Henry? You can count on us, General. All right, here we go. We're really putting all our potatoes in one sack on this one, so don't let us down, boys. But we don't have Ellie now, it's just Charles and Henry. Hey, I know uh, we just started and all, but uh, I think I'm getting targeted by a Sam turret. Yeah, oh yeah. If you could just go ahead and... Uh, deal with that yep you sure are let's <laughs> let's stomp it sure it worked we saved charles all right saved you charles I'm drawing i don't really know what you did but uh seems to have done the trick nice the rocket will be launching very soon. Please get on board immediately. I will not hesitate to leave you behind. Okay, same announcement. Oh, we really gotta get you in there. I should be able to get you in there with this. Alright, uh, the jet pod kind of looks like a crewmate. Um, or an invisible bridge or a trapeze. Let's use the jet Okey pod. Okie dokie, sending down that jet pod. Hey, it's your Uber driver here. Am outside. Treppies. All right, Henry. Uh, go ahead and grab onto the the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. All right. Right. Oh, oh, lots man. of new people. It looks like every member of the Top Hat Clan is on here. So, looking at a schematic here. Um, if you get to the engine room, you can shut down the engine, and then uh, the rocket won't be able to take off. And then they'll all be stuck in here. So I'll cause a distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room. Got it? <laughs> all right. Um, TV broadcast. Sure. <laughs> hey guys, come check this out. Someone's streaming TV out here. <laughs> Getting upset, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to <laughs> click on them on the TV. Uh... Yeah. No. Let me um. Let me do that again so that I can get the characters on the show. Hey guys, come check this out. Someone's streaming TV out here. Okay. Getting upset, Jeremy. <laughs> Any other faces I missed here? No? Okay. 
Okay. Then uh, let's try this subsonic wave. All right, I'm about to fire a subsonic wave. It should stun everyone that hears it, so you might want to cover your ears. All right, coast is clear. Uh, must have had it set to 11. Okay, then let's do the remote top hat. All right, I know they have one of these aboard. I think I can remote hack into it. Look at me. I am the dancing robot. Oh, yeah. Check me out. Excellent. Keep looking over here. Do not get distracted by other things. Yeah, just uh, keep heading up those stairs, and you'll hit that engine room in no time. I guess this rocket has an internal engine room. Probably, like, manages the electronics or something. I don't know. I'm not a rocket doctor. Anyways, do your thing, buddy. So this was Ellie's plan to destroy this. Um, okay, I'm going to pick the wrench. My guess is it's a TF2 wrench, and the engine's going to get, like, repaired when I hit it. Yeah, or upgraded. Like engine is ready sooner than we thought it'd be. Let's get out of here. Silly. Silly game. This doesn't seem right. Um, and that was only a level 2 engine. Okay, <laughs> the red herring. Seems like we're having some problems with the engine. Can we get the crew to look at that? Yep, here comes the crew. Uh, shouldn't we be oh, pictures. The pictures of people. Nah, they're sending some from the storage. Nice. Yeah, right Disabling that engine is definitely going to buy you some extra time. Now, here's what I'm thinking. You can More get pictures. up to the cockpit. You can gain control of the rocket, disable it, and lock everyone inside. Then I'll call in the reinforcements and... <sighs> There's so like many. Rest easily. It's a pretty good plan, Gosh, right? darn it. Um, okay. Do I need to get all these photos down here, too? They look like they're repeats. The, these photos look like they're repeats down there. Okay, let's do the swapper. Um, instantly swap places with anyone. Just point the rod at the person you'd like to swap places with. It's that easy. I use this every day. It's great. Gadget Gabe. What? The cockpit is coming up. You should be able to gain complete control of the rocket from there. Did you fix the engine? Why, well, hold it right there. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the guy that arrested the airship division, and now you're here to bring down the rest of us. Henry, are you in trouble? If you're in trouble, say flank steak. No, wait. If you're in trouble, say nothing. Yeah, uh, I still can't tell. Oh, actually, I can see it from here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Let alone a rock. I got your back, buddy. <laughs> oh, I, I thought for sure he was going to have a flying into the window thing here. Okay, sleep darted. One sleepy boy coming right up. Plan, and I had to dig through mountains of paperwork to find it. And now, of course... Hmm, sturdy glass. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, <laughs> let's try the horn. The old leaders left details for this plan, and I had to dig... Yeah. Okay, then, let... Uh. You did it! Now you just gotta lock it up. Alright. <laughs> nice. I'm the reinforcements. Alright. Are there people I need to click here? Uh, sir, you might want to get us out of here. We got some government coming right now on our front door. Sir, hello? At least open the locks and let us get to our weapon. Henry! Yeah. Oh, nice work, man. Yeah, this is, uh, this is every last remaining member getting hauled off. Fine work indeed, boys. You two really do make a fine team. I'm promoting you both into special covert ops agents. What? Henry's not even enlisted. Well, he is now, unless he doesn't want it. You'll be running a lot more missions together with Charlie. All right, special brovert ops. Cool, cool, cool. Good ending. Um, then... Yeah, let's, uh... I think for the rest of the episode, let's go through and collect all the rest of these fails here. So, starting from the beginning, um, we've got the drawing. Let's do the panel. So, it kind of looks like the sand turret's shooting all of its missiles, but that can't be right. I just wanted to make sure. 
Uh, that kind of seemed like the opposite thing to do. Okay. Cupcake. <laughs> Worth. Okay. Then we'll go up here. Yeah, it was the trapeze that worked out. Let's do the invisible bridge. Alrighty, I've uh, teleported that platform in there for you. Yeah, go ahead and just uh, make your way across then. You need like a stick or something. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't put it there, silly. Okay. Um, off button. What? Everyone knows off stands for offense. Okay. Um, okay, the swapper worked before. We'll do the painting portal. Let's go. Okay. Very silly. Okay. Uh, gotta collect more of those extra life mushrooms. Um... Then let's try the bug juice. Uh, this will turn the user into a bug. Be that fly on the wall and listen in on hot gossip. Ah. Hmm, I guess it only lasts for an hour in bug years. Which is a lot shorter. Okay. Um, is that... Nope, there's one more here. Uh, IR Sniper. I got the sniper that spots out bad guys. So I'll just take him out from here. Don't worry, there's, there's zero chance that I'll hit you with this. Uh-oh, I'm losing control. No, oh no, boy, no, this no, is no. bad. This is really... Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh man, and I dropped my sniper rifle. Come on. I almost got control. Almost got it. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope, no, I'm... Let's see you fire a gun while piloting a helicopter. All right, so that is everything on this path. So we got uh, four of the paths finished, which I think there's going to be 16, I think. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I hope you don't mind these videos have gotten kind of like formulaic. Uh, but, you know, I feel like I don't really have to try that hard. I feel like the jokes are being made for me. Um, I just gotta react, give my two cents every once in a while. We'll finish off with today's new bios here. Uh, so we got Reginald Copperbottom. Being the leader of the Top Hat Clan is something he takes a lot of pride in. Then we got uh, Smokey Tyson, a chain smoker. If I ever saw one, he smokes a pack an hour, but it gives him some kind. But it gives him some kind of power. We got Sheriff. Just one of the many political figures the Top Hat Clan has in their pocket. Dawn Hunter. Okay, from, like, Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Gone, I think, is that character's name in the anime. Uh, he loves rock, paper, scissors, but always throws rock. Losing never crushes his spirits, though. And then Can Janpun. Uh, he's got a hole in his face and is a master of rock, paper, scissors. People feel weaker after losing to him. Then Stu Pendles. Uh, a series of events has caused him to owe money to Carol Cross. This is very bad for him. Bucket hat. Bucket hat. Five eyes. Um, he wears glasses, so he should be called four eyes. Where's the fifth eye? Maybe he's like that trophy of Daisy in Super Smash Bros. Melee, where there's the extra eye hidden under her hair. Um, Talon Circus. Uh, he was recruited out of the circus. He's an acrobatic wizard and really difficult to deal with in a fight. And, oh boy, got a bunch here. Okay, Crusher. He can crush an apple in his bare hands. That's about it. Mr. Fatlip. He's got a pretty bad lisp. He's not actually a big fan of his nickname, but it's really hard to change these things. Scar. He dibs the name after the previous Scar was defeated. Then we got Jeremy Steinfeld. Uh, he lives in an apartment in New York and wonders what the deal with everything is. And, uh, and, uh, Joff? Jeff? Jeff Costanza? Um, I don't know how... I, I guess it would be Joff, yeah. Uh, he's very neurotic and constantly causing problems for himself. Uh, Topbot, a top-of-the-line robot built for missions that go hot. 
Hannibal Burns. Uh, you can never tell if he's paying attention because he always looks so relaxed. Smokestack. People think the nickname is because of the hat, but actually he's a pyromaniac. And then we have all the people in the paintings here. Uh, Dusty. He had one of the longest runs as leader of the Top Hats. He moved so slowly, people often thought he was dead. Cloudface. He lost his position as leader because people couldn't understand his commands through his beard. Randy Radman. Ran the Top Hat Clan through the party era. Things were a blast until they were bankrupt. Uh, Ronaldo the Brute. One of the fiercest leaders the Top Hat Clan has ever had. Unfortunately, he was lost in combat. Sir Wilfred IV. He defeated the previous leader to claim the title. He despises incompetence. Terence Suave. One of the worst leaders the Top Hat Clan has ever had. He would launch raids that made no sense just for the thrill. I got this guy with the golden gun, Jacques Kensington. Um, a bit of an eccentric leader, he always walked around with his gold deagle in his hand. Uh, we got some more here. We got uh, Gus Bricks from the government. Hit the bricks, pal. You're done. He said that joke about 80 times during the arrests. Then Sir Hattie. Uh, he al he's always crying. People think it's from the loss of his old friends. I think that's referencing another Newgrounds thing. Um, Chip Crumb. He, he got some crappy secondhand top hat when he joined. He's really been rethinking his membership lately. Brian Reynolds. He could have been a model, but wanted to do something more important with his life. And is that it for that route? I guess so. So, um... Yeah, I'm the Comic Foil, and next time we'll probably hit another two of these routes in the final mission, so what? That's gonna be like... Yeah, something like... I only got four of these so far, so twelve. Is it gonna take like another six or seven episodes to clear all this out? It might. Oh well. Um, yeah, this is not a small game. <laughs>